Hey, what's up, guys? Maki, welcome in. Welcome back, guys. Just going over a few checks here, and we will get started. All right, there we go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome in. Nia9, welcome. Yeah, I got the house already, um, setting it. So the map is pretty big in this game. It's kind of like a, uh, the size of, like, New World. As you can tell, you can go all the way around here. So far, I've got up to this little location here, but I've got to unlock uh, some of the stuff in this zone still. But yeah, so you have... I do have my base set up. I've got a few workbenches, as you can tell. Let's go to the cradle here. Show you guys on the medics. I've got a lot of stuff you can unlock. It's got a skill tree for, like, all your building essentials, different roofs, different staircases. Even, uh, four-wheel vehicles. I think I'm gonna do this one next. Try to get the four-wheel vehicles here. Um, 
There's a ton of different off-road. You've got all your different crafting, cooking, healing, planting, and all kinds of stuff you can do. HP, all your different armor sets, sniper rifles, um, light machine guns, LMGs, rocket launchers. Let's see what else we have. So we've got chainsaws. This is all your farming methods here. And I believe you could get like an auto mining tool here where you can mine. Not sure how this works yet. I still got a ways to go. So this, this beta will actually be open and once human for probably about a month right now. Roughly a month. The grind for materials compared to the first first beta is fairly quickly. It's uh I was able to get a hold of some guns a lot quicker in this demo compared to the last one. And I think what they do right now is they they pretty much give you access to be able to farm minerals and you get them a lot quicker. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be nerfed later on during the full release of the game. But as you can tell, I got like a hundred wood there. And you can pretty much get, let's see, let's go to my base up here and I'll show you guys. Maybe, maybe I can fast travel here. Maybe I'm too close to fast travel. There we go, teleport. So no matter where you are on the map, you can teleport back and forth to your base. I gotta move it because this guy keeps spawning in here. But yeah, I've got a little ways to go. I got some workbenches to make. Got a couple stashes. Got a bed here so I can regen my my sanity and stamina. Now that's going to be a thing. Now to give you guys a little bit more of a heads up, I wonder if I could get into my brother's base. Me and him were playing yesterday. So as far as the building goes, you can do all kinds of stuff in here. And it was quick. He probably built this base within less than an hour. Farming material and everything. That's how quick he can build. But yeah, it's still a little ways to go. He's got a little roof deck up here. So far, not too bad of a grind as far as time consuming goes. But let's go ahead and we've got a little bike we could get on here. We're gonna go ahead and push the rift over where all the NPCs are and give you guys some gunplay action. So I've gotta unlock these rifts here as part of my main quest line on the top left. And I'm hoping there is a few of them that I've unlocked and it didn't count towards this quest line here, so. And particularly, I'm just going through to see if I can knock some of them out. I did find one yesterday that did count. And I think they're going to be... They're just trying to get you to grind and unlock all the rifts, technically. So you've, you've got teleportations across the map. Probably good to build next to one of these if you can. That's why you can fast travel to any location without having to say where I'm at here on my base. Travel all the way to one of these fast travels in order to do that. But you can move your base as a whole, which is nice. You can relocate your base and go into another vicinity of the map and just place everything down on the ground. All right, this looks like the road. Yeah, this is currently a PVE server, but there is PVP. And I'm not sure how PvP actually works. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you can just randomly go into break into people's houses and steal all their stuff. I think there's particularly zones you have to PvP or you might have to activate it, but I'm not quite, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I know when this game goes live, I'm going to be heavily grinding it in a PvP server. PvP is, is pretty epic. They don't have a lot of videos on YouTube right now with PvP. They got a few of them. And it looks pretty similar to, like, Division gameplay. Which is pretty cool. 
But the map is humongous. You'll come across different areas of the map where it, it doesn't look as vibrant as this place does. It's, it's a little bit more apocalyptic. All right, looks like there's one on top of this mountain up here. I've got to figure out a way up. There's a bridge way up there. Let's, let's get off the bike here. Uh, you can even farm copper ore. Now, if you're familiar with the game New World, the, the farming system is similar to New World. I don't think you really level up XP as far as... I think you... I'm not sure. Let's see. I know you can farm materials, but as far as gaining XP, I don't think you gain XP like you do. Where you have to level up your uh, pickaxe farming compared to your swinging axe farming as well. This has got to be the wrong way. I'm going to possibly go around here. Jump back on the bike. Now, taking this thing off-road is... It's not really meant for it, for it. But you can save your stamina and hydration and everything from your uh, character. Let's see, so this road's gonna go all the way up to here. I think, I, I guess I gotta take this, this bridge across, what it's looking like. But so far, it's free to play if you guys want to join the beta. Google Once Human, go to their website, and there's a beta access you can get on, and it's going to last for another 30 days if you guys want to give it a try. It's definitely pretty fun, especially when you get into the combat in this game. Once you farm up to the combat and you start grinding out missions, it does get pretty, pretty fun. It turns around from there. All right, looks like another teleportation device I've got to activate. These are just pretty much respawn zones around the map. You have to activate these. Similar to the pylon system in New World. Be able to teleport in different areas. All right, so that location is where we want to go to, about 260 meters away. Just love the the look of the world, the different areas you go to. So if you come across something new, oh, there's another player here. You just find new things all across this map. There's a couple players here. Looks like they're uh, farming these missions too, maybe. All right, level 15. Got to shoot these guys because they will stun me. So you've got all different types of, like, anomaly monsters and different creatures in here. The boss farts are pretty, pretty epic. That cafe is full of zombies. But you can pretty much go into anywhere and loot up certain items. You can find resources. Fabrics. Employee badge. There's a loot crate up there. Let's see if I can access this loot crate without getting myself into trouble. Let's get around here. These guys are coming in.
Oh my god, what did I get myself involved into? Let's kill this guy first. We've got to make a way for escape. So we've got an SMG too. This is like the MP7. If you guys are familiar with Alpha Bridge from Division 1, the MP7 when Alpha Bridge was pretty OP, this gun was really OP at the time. Oh, this guy's a little bit tanky. Yeah, he might be too tanky to, to kill. I think we're in like a level 20 zone right now. And I'm only level 15. Looks like he's charging up. I want to heal up and grab that loot crate. Now you also have a durability on your weapons, so your weapons can... you need to have the ability to repair them every now and then. Oh, nice. We've got some... We've got some help here. The division agents. Currently, I don't have my mic hooked up, but you can push the talk. Looks like I got a shotgun here. Let's see what these guys got. They've got AKs, SMGs, so they're probably on the same level as me. Further up the, uh... The leveling, but it looks like... This one's got the same weapons. There's not much difference between the levels. Now, farming's got its own separate criteria, and then getting weapons as well. And trust me, this game can distract you from the main mission, so you'll find yourself just wandering off into the middle of nowhere, like I'm doing here. These are like side missions. Tips on the note. And as you can see, it, it opens up another Explore the High Banks. So it gives you like world quests within the, uh, the zone you're in. And these are like mirages people can leave behind. Give all friendly gestures in the area and whatnot. Congratulations on getting. Now remember, mom likes to buy something, something. Get some of this junk in here. This place is just full of hostiles here. Defeat normal enemies, defeat elite enemies, and then activate Rift Anchor. Okay, so that's what I gotta do. I gotta activate the Rift Anchor. I guess that's this one over here. Just gonna see if I can bypass all these NPCs. Not cause too much of a distraction. Activate Rift Anchor. I might as well complete the rest of them. Looks like I got the main mission done. Two out of four, plus the 
world quest here as well. That's good to know. I guess they both come hand in hand. NPZs. Right? Oh my god. Heal, heal, heal. Now you have zombies, you do have uh, regular NPCs too as well. With guns that shoot back at you rather than just run for you. Now you do have to farm all your ammo, as you can tell I got 2700 left. But you can go back to your base and farm your, your ammo in a matter of like 10 minutes or less. And then just go out and have a bunch of fun with it. Cable guy, what's up? Welcome in. So if you like third world shooter games or third person shooter games, I should say, and open world survivals, this, this game is it. As you can see, we're like one little dot in a massive world. All the way up here, all the way down here. You've got different missions and it's free to play. That's the craziest part about it. Oh, I didn't know there was those little things. Those things will turn you into stone and, like, kill you quick. All right, let's get out of here. Got to go activate another rift. Wait a minute, is this... Let's put some gas in here. Add fuel. There we go. We are 100%. Let's check the map one more time. Looks like I've got another rift here. So that looks like the same one. 243. Yeah, so we got that one completed. There's got to be another one. We could probably go hit this one up over here. A little ways out. <laughs> so you actually have a main quest line, for you guys that don't know, up here in the, the top left corner. And pretty much doing the quests and leveling up through your character level is pretty much the progression of the game loop. Then you've got all the in between stuff like world quests and dungeons, boss fights. This is a strange place for zombies.
Definitely a strange place. There's a lot of different locations you could go to that change, that have different vibes. There's a place that looks like Fallout 4, literally. It's got, like, all the dead tree branches and everything. And then it rains red, so the, the ground looks like it's blood in, like, a desolate wasteland. Thought that was Starbucks for a minute. And these are like little world bosses you can fight to, these little zones here with the circle floating in the sky. They give you different loot. A little loot crate at the end you can farm. Some kind of radio back there. Now the bike does need a little bit of work. I think once you get the four wheel vehicles into the memetics here, so once you unlock the vehicles through the skill tree over here, so you can access all these different types of vehicles and ride around the map. Um, this pretty much just comes up through your character level. You get XP and you can upgrade all the different crafting um, upgrades that you need through this tree here. So you've got infrastructure, all your different, let's say like farming materials, crafting, managing, which is, let's see, water filters. So you've got like water filtration systems. You're able to cook. I think you unlock the, uh, the meat, different, um, bowls through your stove and then you got all the building stuff here as well so you, you the building is pretty complex in this game if you want to build your own base vehicle modding stone and then you can even mod up your own let's say here gear Let's see, to modify, right click, and then we can modify these. Currently, I do not have any thing, but you can change the paint colors to the different attachments. As you can see, the stock, suppressor. And you could even add accessories, muzzles, optics, magazines, different type of tier ammunitions you can craft as well. So it's pretty, it's got quite a bit of stuff in here you can do. Uh, this looks like some kind of facility here. Maybe maybe some NPCs will be here. So that's what they call a firefly in one's human. This sounds like I'm getting into the corrupt zone, like New World. That exact sound is when you... You roam around the world like you're doing now and you come across a corrupt zone. There it is.
It's kind of like division. Even the um, the NPCs in here that shoot back with the guns, they they seem like they're kind of a version of like Ghost Recon AI. I think it's something to do with the event that's going on in the, up in that mountain there. It's kind of, it kind of like warns you in that area. I've got to figure out a way I can repair this bike, though. Yeah, or Wildlands AI, for sure. So you've got, like, Tom Clancy's Division, New World. There's a lot of... You know things that you could see that resemble this game i look at it like in the, the the combat system the way the movement is through the through the character and then even with the shotgun like if you pull out the shotgun here it's it has a lot of resemblance to division tom clancy's the division the way the movement character is Looks like I gotta go this way. There's gotta be another road down here. Hey, what's up, Zachary? It's going pretty good so far. Definitely uh, finding it a little grindy, but not too bad. Not too bad to be able to get uh, have some fun in the game and let let the grinding hold you back. Let's see, there's got to be a way I can repair this because my red line's literally all the way down and it's starting to smoke. This is a, a PvP game. Currently, I'm on a PvE server. But during the full release, I am going to be grinding on a PvE or PvP server. And I think there's only particular zones. I'm not quite sure how the PvP system works in here yet. But I think right now there's literally only like two servers in the beta that you can join PvP and they've been full. I'm not 100% sure though. PvP does look fun. Now I think they, ha they actually do have some form of raiding as well where you can raid other people's bases. Destroying their loot crates and grabbing everything. You can even fortify up your bases too with like machine gun turrets. There's different skill trees you can unlock for that. Maybe maybe to rent servers you do, but it is free to play. You can join the beta and get in at no fee. You just gotta uh, sign up for the beta access. Maybe at some point during ser server hosting. I don't think that's going to be free. Well, yep, we got some guns. So here's the the NPCs gunplay here. I gotta heal up. Yeah, dead matter still still a, a ways away. I think this the studio who's making this game has got other stuff going. What's that? The heck? This is probably a bigger studio. Oh, okay. I'm not.
I'm not sure if he was always on the other side. That was kind of weird. When I turned around, he was just chilling over there. Now, they do move around. There's There there are some NPCs that have bosses, like if I shoot this guy. Let's just kind of see how he works. They will talk to you. There's some enemies that will come up and melee you with a knife. Reload. All right, now I can loot the storage crate. No, that's one thing I, I do wish it does have a uh, buff at PHC. So you do have first person though, like this, but it doesn't have peeking, so. And as you can tell, that's one thing I do not like. They're not aware, even if they're nearby the vicinity and they hear gunfire. That's one thing they do need to work on to make them more active. But it's still in beta. There's a lot of things that they changed since the last demo, though. As far as the whole leveling farming system. It's, it's a lot quicker to be able to obtain guns and craft guns. You would figure firing off a couple shots that would alert the entire base here. Oh, third person peeking. Yeah, yeah, third person peeking is kind of janky. I definitely like first myself. Looks like there's a creature up this way. There's the rift I need to find. So I've got three out of four rifts, so this will complete the last one, hopefully. I could start a new mission. Now, as you can tell, the bottom health bar, it has that blue little section. And now when I go to heal my character, it only goes part way. So you have sanity. Sanity is from eating contaminated water or getting hit by zombies. It's kind of like an infection you get. And you will have to take a sanity pill to get rid of that so you can fill your full HP up or else that'll slowly drain your entire health pool until you're dead. So you can gain sanity in a few different ways. You can make these gel tablets through your stove or uh, fall asleep. And I think there's a few other methods you can use. Right now I've got a bed. I'm, I'm probably going to have to lie down because I don't have any more gel tablets. All right, that's good. Murmurs in the forest. Go to the cliff monolith and defeat the Great One. Enhanced within. Perfect. That sounds like a boss fight to me. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And actually, you know what? I can fast travel to, to my base. Look, there's an NPC just chilling there with his gun. Some areas, like the last area yesterday, they were a lot more active than this zone. I was in a base yesterday where you actually have the fully decked out juggernauts running around and exosuits and stuff, which is pretty, pretty cool. These guys are like the hyena group from Division. No, my character is running slow, I think because I'm possibly getting dehydrated here. Eat some food. There we go, now I can run faster.
Let's go check out what's inside of here. There we are. What's up, Manuel? Welcome in, buddy. Welcome to the stream, my man. So we're currently just questing, grinding here. Keep you all updated. Questing and grinding for some better gear. Let's see, so we've got some ammo here for the rifle. We'll craft that up before I go and fight the monolith. Uh, hmm, charcoal, we've got a little bit of that we can make. Go ahead and forge some copper ignot, which we need more of that for ammo. I don't think I have any more. Waste plastic, all-purpose plastic, I can use that to upgrade different tier weapons, which I'm, I think I might have to start doing. It is it is multiplayer. You do have uh, single player, PvP, and PvE in here. Currently, I'm in a PV, PvE server. I think there's a few PvP servers right now, not too many. Let's go ahead and get some sleep and try to drain my sanity down a little bit. But it has quite a bit of stuff in it so far. I mean, for a free-to-play game, everything that it offers, it's the world is pretty gigantic, and it's got a little bit of a grind and a pretty decent game loop, too, as well, to keep, keep you active in it. There goes my sanity. It's going back up a little bit now. That's the blue bar in my health pool there. Once that fills all the way up, I should be good to go. But currently it's in beta if you want to give it a try. Um, you can get you could sign up for access and they'll they'll give you access pretty quick. And I think it's going to be around for 30 days for roughly a month, so you're, you'll have plenty of time to grind and check it out, check all the mechanics, and get yourself involved in a couple boss fights. But you got all different types of crafting benches. Like, you have to craft all your ammo and gear, which is not hard to do. You can obtain it fairly quickly. This is my brother's place. He built yesterday within an hour, so he built all this stuff less than an hour. You can color the floors, make the floors different colors. There's a whole lot more you can do with the building in here. This is just this is just laying the foundation. Then you could add power, different generators, water filtrations, and a ton of stuff. Like he's got the rain catcher for water. Got a little garage up there, which I can't access. It looks like he's got some basic stuff in there too as well. He's just probably starting off. I do need to get some more copper there to get some more ammo. I have a feeling that this boss is going to be pretty tanky. So let's look on the map here, and I think there's going to be a bunch of copper in this area. And I know there's some over here as well.
Yeah, so far it's it's definitely got like division vibes in here between the the whole entire movement system. And there's still some stuff that they got to polish along the way. But as far as the movement and the the, the fluid of the character is pretty good. But I think the like the AI needs to be polished up a little bit. They're kind of similar to Ghost Recon AI right now, or Wildlands. And then the way the, the farming system works... ...is pretty much just like New World. And it's got a bunch of weird creatures like that in there. They just kind of roam the map. It's definitely different for a shooter-style MMO. It's kind of like they, they, they put a bunch of games all in one. Yeah, you'll have to go to the beta. I would Google once human and they have a website. Just say beta access sign up. And um, you'll be able to see the beta. Click on that, and then you can sign up for it right there. And they'll be able to get you in. It probably took maybe less than 24 hours for me to get access. I think it gave it, like, it came out April 3rd or 4th, somewhere around there. And it was supposed to last for roughly 42 days after that. Yeah, I, this is currently not the Steam launcher. It has its own launcher here. So you'll get a launcher like this. And that'll get you into the game. You'll have to download the launcher, then update it through here. And then launch the game through there. It's definitely a fun world just to run around in though. And uh, if you want, if you're looking for something different. No problem, Manuel. Thanks for coming in, though. Definitely catch you later then, my man. I'm just going to be farming up some materials here, try to get some ammo. So it's going to be a little bit to like push that boss. So it's going to be kind of um, just farming some stuff. See you later, bro. Take it easy. Copper and sulfur. I think these are going to be like the two main ones we need for ammo. We do need charcoal. Charcoals from trees. You can make charcoal from the trees to be able to make ammunition with that. Eighteen hide, perfect. Now to farm these, I think I've got a better gun, um, a crossbow. I'd rather use, but I'm out of bullets. Let's see if I can make one of these here. Place that down. There we go. Now I could make some more arrows, possibly. 
78 should be enough. Can always use that as a backup. So got 40 arrows ready. Perfect. All right, so it's pretty dark out still. It takes a little minute for it to get light out. But the nighttime in Once Human definitely brings out its own unique vibes. So I think so far... Pretty much was able to defeat two two world bosses or three world bosses so far. And one thing I, I did not realize early game is I had to run back to my base all the time and I got a flashlight too. Forgot about that one. Yeah, instead of running back to your base you can fast travel. There's some more copper ore up here on the mountain and it kind of glares a little bit so you can find them. Probably should get some drinking water. Fill up my um, canteen here. Grab all these resources. I think we should be good enough to, um... Craft some more gear with, anyway. Get that picked up there. Got some garbage out of there we can use to deconstruct f into, like, plastics and raw metal. My character seems like he's pretty over encumbered right now. It's probably a good time to fast travel back to the base. Hmm, there we are. And I did leave those arrows there. Totally forgot about those arrows.
All right, so we got charcoal out of there. Let's see if I can get some more ammo through here. Ammo. We do need gunpowder. Rifle ammo, that's the one. And what do we need? I think we do need more acid anyways. Charcoal into copper, Ignat, and three wood into charcoal. Now, is that going to be enough? Yes. We've got rifle ammo. We can only craft one of those right now. So far we've got... Okay, so we can get more. Eight out of one. That's good. So I could craft a little bit more. I need more copper ignot, though. Grab those. 2,700 bullets. Let's get another one started over here. Three more of them, nice. Five more pieces of copper, and then we've got... Which one did I start the charcoal in? I thought it was this one. I guess I might have picked it up already. Copper Ignat does take some time, so it's good to, like, probably use more than one of these to make Copper Ignat and just kind of have it set aside is probably the smartest thing to do. Charcoal. I definitely need more trees for charcoal. Yo, Fraga, what's up? Welcome back. Figured I'd get one more stream in today before work got pretty hectic. So far, this game's been pretty, uh, pretty interesting lately. Definitely a lot of stuff. One, one disappointing factor about this game right now being in beta is grind, grinding everything and then having to redo it once it's, once it releases. There you go, perfect. Let me know if you want to join up. Now I think we have to, once you make it through the main prologue, it took me a while to figure out how to like link on here. So once you get through the main prologue, um, you'll have to join the same server that I'm in and then the, the same world, which I'm in world five. I think there's world one through nine within each server. So you'll have to join the same server and then another world, uh, world five, which you'll have to teleport to that particular realm. It is a little bit difficult to, um... to be able to join up. I wish they made it a little bit easier. 
But I think at some point in the future, maybe they'll start linking servers, or where you can swap your characters from servers to server. I wonder if it'll actually tell the name of what server I'm in now. Copper and charcoal's finished up. Oh, I left the door open, so somebody could literally come in here. I don't think they could use my... take my stuff, though. Cos Cosmaki, you should download this game. It's in uh, beta. You can sign up for free right now. Let's see. Minus sanity. I don't want that. Anything that minuses sanity is bad. Got some bold water, though. That should be enough. Got a ton of that. And 3,600 3, rounds. It should be good. I might have left another box of ammo. Let's check before I leave. Gunpowder. Nice. That didn't take too long. All right, so let's see. Go to the Gaia Cliff Monolith to defeat the Great One. Monolith of Greed. And then we have... Back here. That's it. That's the one. So I've got to fight the dragon boss. No, I currently currently do not have it right now uh, as a content warning, but I've seen other people playing it. It looks interesting. For a jump scare horror game. Seems like it's uh, kind of trying to move alongside the Lethal Company, but I think Lethal Company's got way more stuff you can do right now in it. Oh, 
Oh no. Is that bike gonna blow up? Vehicle damage, please repair it in a garage. Uh, how far am I out? I'm pretty far away. So, I guess you can't repair them on the roadside. I was curious where to repair it at. So, I do have a garage, but I haven't had time to mess with it yet. Let's see. I can fast travel. What am I doing? My bike just despawned back to the garage. This is my cousin. Stay outside. Manage vehicles. Okay, how do we do this now? Skins? We don't have different skins yet. Modifications, max durability. Different tires. All right, so we can't do any of that, but how do we, how do we fix it? Repair G. Oh, okay. I should probably do that every now and then. Just to prevent stuff like that from happening. Because it was smoking for a little while. Me and my brother were riding yesterday to a place. And, um... I was like, my bike is uh, sparking a little bit. And he's like, mine's too. That's normal. So I'm like... Alright, I don't remember what it was sparking before, but... Not currently, uh, guys, but I don't have a lethal company or, um, uh, content. Or content warning. That's it. I did see Jack Frax playing, uh, content warning the other day. How do you like content warning so far, Kaz? Is it pretty good? Between lethal company or content warning, which one would you which one would you choose? Uh, this looks like back to the same area here, pretty much that I was before. Arst Industries, Steel Smelting Services. Oh, that place is pretty cool. There's so many areas you can check out on this map, you just want to stop and explore. And I'm going the wrong way here. Let's see. I got to do a UE. This looks like the road. Now, maybe I can upgrade the bike through the garage and uh, make it faster, too, which will be nice.
I think that's it. Way over there. There should be another bridge below, I think. Sometimes the world is not, um, too good. Or the, the way the navigating system in the world is. I think they need to fix that. Kazumaki, you're back. This place is pretty crazy. I think I'm going to pass right near there anyway, unless... Yeah, I should be close to the area. Lethal Company? Yeah, that's what I was figuring since it's, uh... It's got more stuff in it. More content. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to make a video of this. I'll probably just do, like, live streams of Once Human only. Unless there's a way I could do some, like, tutorial videos when the game comes out. I might do that. But as far as gameplay goes, I, I think I'll stick to the, um... SPT and other stuff as well. And, and uh, Dead Side. I might do, I might do like a survival run up here though. Kind of similar how I did, um... Days Gone. I wonder if they'll give you access to turn off all the HUDs. HUD though, to make it more cinematic and immersive. Yeah, as far as as doing them, it's it's not as fun, but it, it definitely will help the channel for sure. I think that just creates some kind of value for the audience too as well doing that type of content rather than just gameplay i'll probably keep it in between a mix though that's that's what i'm trying to find is a good mix between the two just play raw gameplay compared to different tutorials tutorials and stuff like that and news and did you hear that Somebody shooting over here, though. Get him. Sick him, boy. Oh, this dog's gonna kill everybody for me. Look, they're all scared. They're not even paying attention to me. He's gonna come after me now. Yeah, mo most definitely, Fraga, for sure. I like, I like doing the gameplay and then making like a story out of it, coming up with like a particular story. Have you seen, um, Cluster Plays? He does a really great job at that with stalker videos. To be able to make a game and, and level up to a certain degree where you can get all the guns and make, make it more immersive and then come up with a good plot and a story to to generate some good content with. 
Probably not today, Kaz. I'm going to have to get off here in a few hours. Maybe this weekend, though. Maybe I'll do a live stream on um, Generation Zero and we can join up. Let's see. The boss is going to be up there. But I don't want to fight everybody here. I can bypass the boss by moving around. Oh, Zodak? I wonder if I saw... I'm, I'm sure I've seen Zodak. I usually watch The Running Man or... Um, uh, Sour. And then um, Smoke. Play Daisy. I like watching Smoke. He's, he's got some pretty funny videos. Some interesting characters. I'll have to check out Zodak, though. I wonder if I've seen him before. It's, it's probably not going to be till this weekend, Kaz, to be honest, because I'm going to be busy. I just got a new job, so I'm going to be gone until the weekend. I'm going to be backed up, backed up in some work. The new job I got is pretty cool, though. They do military simulators. They build military simulators. So it's kind of like games but stuff they can ship off to the military for, like, on-the-job training. It's going to be Saturday night, possibly. Unless I got Friday off. I'll have to find out, though, which I doubt it. Uh, it's it's an electro electrical job as long as you got electrical manufacturing. In the place I worked for, they did military stuff. It's kind of like Raytheon working for Raytheon. I think they're partnered up with uh, Raytheon. It's the same organization. And then you have another one, another company called what are they? Uh, they do like nuclear satellites and stuff like that, which is a little bit more advanced. Lockheed Martin. And they're in the general area too, so like just gaining any kind of manufacturing experience could get you in at a, at a basic pre-entry job, level entry job, and then just kind of move your way up from there. Which I was a technician at my last job, so I would fix all the defects and familiar, familiarize myself with the process and uh, come up with, you know, better long-term solutions. to kind of mitigate defects in the field failures. Hey, Doll Dragon, what's up? What's up, buddy? Welcome in. That's good. School, school is always first, my friend. School is always first. Yeah, I'll have to see how it goes. I'm pretty interested in um, some of the stuff they do. They do, like, cockpits with VR virtual reality, so you got, like, joysticks and stuff like that. I'll have to see how far they get. But the company's pretty new to it right now. So they do have rework. There's going to be some trial and error. But they're they're working on expanding, so I'm kind of jumping in at a at an early start so I can jump in and learn it and then by the time it does you know get big which they're the only company I think out there that that has something that the military wants so they're trying to expand upon that and satisfy their customers so they could get more contracts and that's that's the main thing the main basic of a lot of the companies out there is you want to satisfy your cus customers meet quota oh wait a minute you know one thing I do want to do before I come here I'm going to die. I have a feeling I'm going to die. There's a boss fight in there. It's a big dragon. So I want to build a spawn zone outside, so if I die, I don't have to run all the way back here because it is quite far. That means i got to kill these guys. Oh, 
Which I don't think I could build one like close by. Maybe up here on the mountain I can. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to play tonight. I'm going to be too busy doing other things. So I just figured I'd do the live stream today on Once Human and possibly this weekend, though, Kaz. We'll definitely be able to jump on this weekend sometime. I wonder if I could place this up here. I don't know since it's so close to the landmark. Hey, what's up, Rostick? Welcome in. Apparently, we're going to be fighting a boss here. I've just got to build a respawn beacon. If it'll allow me to. I didn't realize how far this uh, mountain goes up here. Hmm. All right, I don't think I could put one up here. That tree looks pretty cool with all the moss growing up on it. All right, what's the worst could happen, right? What's the worst thing that could happen? I've got a ton of heals on me. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get access to Steam right now. You'll have to download the launcher through the beta website. So the, the launcher is going to look like this. And once you download the launcher, you'll you'll install the game here and then be able to play it and launch the game in and out of the launcher. But you have to go to the Once Human website. You'll see like a little loading arrow. It takes for a minute the website to refresh itself. And then you'll see the beta access right there. You just click beta, put your email information in. And uh, they'll sign you up for it. All right, let's do this. How hard can it be, right? Oh, wait a minute. This is this is a different uh, boss, I think. I guess I got to go down to that water. This looks like it's going to be the same boss I fought before, prior. Is it? Or is it going to be different? Oh, this time I'm not on a floating island. See you later, Kaz. Thanks for coming in, bud. Enjoy. I'll hit you up on Steam. He should have somebody on his back. Unless this is a different one. Oh, he's a big boy. There she is.
Looks like some kind of witch is uh, on top of the uh, monster. Oh, we've got those little tentacles I've got to kill, so this might have to... I'm gonna die. So these things are gonna take a little bit to kill. I think I could shoot these... Hmm. All right, 469 rounds. What's that, 216? 64 rounds for the double barrel. So I'll, I'll utilize the AK and the MP7 first. Let's get it. He's immune. Oh, I think I've got to kill these things first to, to be able to do any damage on him. That's going to take a while. It seems like they got to put some music in here. Maybe I could get closer and do some better damage. Okay, one's down. Don't want to get too close to these things because they will whip you. That. Shockwaves, that's right. He does the shockwaves. I definitely need to level up before I buy him. He says level 15, though. I think I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to need some, some team play for sure. It looks like there's going to be a lot of different things you're going to have to focus on at the same time. Oh, nice. Am I in the same area? Perfect. I don't have to redo everything. I wonder if he's got the same damage or I gotta restart everything. 
Skip cutscene. Oh, nice. So they were able to give you access pretty quick. That's that's good to know. The SMG is going to be the way to go. With those guys. Let's turn that boss fight music down just a little bit. SMG. All right, maybe that now that I got all those little minions off of me. There we go. I'm going to jump up here this time. Yeah, they do need to work on some stuff, uh, Ball Dragon.
That music is a little bit loud, though. I think this boss is going to be meant for team play, mainly. Oh, he spawns in NPCs. At least you don't got to worry about those quakes from up here. This should be your, your email, Frag. I think your email address. Almost halfway. I'm pretty sure certain areas are going to be fixed to where you can't do this. To where, like, it's going to cause you to use more maneuvering around the map. Almost there, almost dead. Crap, reload. Right, one more segment left.
Finally. All right, level 16. That wasn't too bad. I guess that's going to be the main spot up there. Unless they get rid of it. But even off you're on the ground, that boss is not too bad to fight because I had to fight him on a little island, a floating island. And you could only run around and there was only like one rock you could hide behind the whole time. So you just stay behind the rock, shoot the stuff, and then jump when you need to. What are these things? Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. These are the gel things that I use for the... Uh, with the box. They will need to change the AI in the boss battles though. They're a little bit too easy where you can pretty much just get into little areas and, and defeat them. Maybe more um, stuff coming out, more zombies and stuff you gotta kill too. At the beginning, it is kind of tough, but then it kind of slows down towards the end. Yeah, you too, uh, Doll Dragon. Get some sleep, man. Thanks for coming in. Once human at 3 a.m. There we go. Where did he go inside it? Now this base is pretty cool. Oh, he got me. I don't know where he was going to.
Burst fire is literally the way to go on these. We can pick these up, throw them. Now there's a weapons crate up there too as well. Right on top of that building. So you have to get up where I was earlier and then jump off there and get on top of that first building there and you'll find a, like an RSAS weapons blueprint. Alright, so that might have been the last boss for the demo for the quest line, maybe? Let's see. Murmurs in the forest track. Find the chrono cage at Gaia Cliff on the monolith basement. Oh, okay. I know what I'm supposed to do. I think after every boss you fight, you literally have to go in the, the basement and meet up with the girl that you meet up at at the beginning of the game. What do they what do they tell you, Fraga? They had they they when you signed up for beta, it said uh, confirmation code. You should be able to get an email right away, at least the confirmation um, code, and you might have to wait on the them to send you beta. Can you try it again? See, see if you if it's the right email address. Were you able to download the launcher itself, or is it just the um, the website asking you for a confirmation code? Let me see. I'm going to try to access them using a different email. Let's see what it does here. Blessing? Sure doesn't feel that way from what I've seen. All I see are people struggling to get by, others preying on innocent victims, and Rosetta looking. Oh, and there's a mobile beta all. too, so you'd have to make sure you hit the the launcher beta. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Oh, so you already got the launcher. Perfect. So you got it set up. See if your launcher does a...
this should be able to give you one unless people unless it's like flooded but the way doll dragon was sounding earlier he got it right away see i would go to my account and then see what email you got set up with that depending on how many emails you got i've got like five different emails myself so i i got mixed up on that at first i don't know if that could be it or not And shutting down these silver gates. By shutting down these gates out here in the per. But the what key. For fall. Or if that doesn't work, try setting it up with a different email and see if you could get access. Can you sign out and then re sign up the launcher with a different email, maybe? That's that's probably what I would do. And that's a good thing you already got 10 emails. So you could you could get 10 tries literally to do that. Cuz the way it sounds like they send you access right away. They 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 want you to to come in. Especially it was a little bit backed up on the launch of it a few days back, but since it's been out, it should be less congested. Yeah, let me know if it works. I, I really hope you could get in there. It's definitely uh, fun. It gets you used to the the learning curve of the um, the style of game in a way. Yeah, my account starts off as a guest. It'll start off as a guest until you can... Um, once you get past the main tutorial... Once you get past the main tutorial, you could actually change that somehow. Um, you'll have to re-authenticate it. And then it'll give you actually a username. Like, and then you can start adding friends, like I've got Battle Trip as a friend. But that's mine. It'll, get, it'll say like guest and a number. So you'll have to do the first tutorial and then get into the main world. So let me let me show you what server I'm in if you want to join the same server. So pretty much it'll just launch up like this. It'll go through all your loading screens and then you escape on there. And that's where you select a server at first. So currently I'm on Starlight G. I think it goes from like L, K, J, I, H, G. And that's the one that I'm currently on. 
No, I think there are PvP servers right here. You can select PvE or PvP, which is two. The population is low at the moment. But I'm currently on a PV, uh, PvE server right now. And I think once you select servers, different servers, you'll, it'll make you start all over again to a new character. But once you join that, say you do get in and you get past the prologue and everything, the next step would be to, um, for you to start building in a different world, you'd have to um, select the world that your buddy's in. Which is, if you look in the top right corner, it'll say World 5. <laughs> So there's like world one, world two, three, four, five. And you'll have to go to any of these these little things. They're gonna be grayed out. Let me see if I can find one that's grayed out. Like these. These are teleportation towers, but once you find the first one, you can teleport anywhere on the map or you can switch worlds. And currently I'm in world five butterfly, and I think there's world nine devastation or something like that it's called but yeah it's one through something you can find you can switch worlds like i could always switch worlds and go into your world and then build where you're at too i can move my base in there get back on track There's somebody I'm supposed to talk to in here. So Mary's got to be this way. Oh yeah, this is her. So you're finally back. Does that mean I'll be right back?
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. My work is done, but you should know that all of this started from inside Meyer's Market. All right, so we just defeated the first boss. Now we're talking to her. I understand. With Brianna. I won't forget her or what we learned from her tragedy. Here, take the rewards we promised. Oh, and no clip. Thank you. All right, there we go. What is the next objective on the map here? Tasks, so we've got... Love, looks like I've got to level up though. Realm of Nightmares, go to the Iron River and look for a gray water camp clues. Uh, so that looks like that's all the way north. That's going to be close to the city. So that's your city in here. You're going to go through a little tunnel, and then it'll lead out to here. I definitely got to work on leveling up here. Let's see. Let's see what else we can build for now. I've got to add more stuff to the skill tree. I need more workbenches, though. Hmm. I did have one. Copper Ignat. Which one was it? I think it was this one here. Steel Ignat and Vandium Crystal. Fireproof Plastic.
I think that's gonna be good to get some better weapons, possibly. Let's see. Steel Ignat, what do we need for that, though? Iron ore. I think that's gonna be further up north, possibly. I came across copper ore. I might have to move my base. Let's go check and see what kind of resources we got further up north here. In the meantime, let's put all this stuff here. I don't have anything yet. I think the next video I might do is either SPT or um, I'm kind of waiting on the realist, realism mod to come out or SPT, but um, it'll probably be some dead side stuff. Just some regular gameplay videos. I might do some SPT though, with or without the realism mod. I got some other mods installed. Could be good for now. How do you like the AI in SPT though? Yeah, you, you will. There's always going to be some kind of some haters out there. <laughs> always. But then there's you kind of get a mix of both. 
It doesn't even matter, um, SPT videos, even like the dead side videos that I do. People, there's a lot of people that hate the, uh, the development of dead side. They just can't stand a slow progression. Yeah, that's what I like. You could, you could mod, you could modify the, uh, the headshots and stuff like that with it. I mean, the live Tarkov is fun. It's just, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to... That'll be like the only game I could cover. You know what I mean? Because the time it takes. So I like to cover a bunch of other games. Especially being a small channel. I mean, it's good to devote yourself into one game. But that's if you're fully committed into that one game alongside. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand from a content creator. From a small content creator either. Is doing... If, if, if you're more all around on a bunch of other games, it's good to do that or just Tarkov, just live Tarkov. Yeah, that's 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 the thing is you if you don't want to be known as a, just a Tarkov because there's so many there's so much competition. I could understand during like the early alpha beta times, that's when people started blowing up as doing tutorial videos to jump into it. That was the perfect timing to jump into, but now it's there's so many different content creators who cover the same game. As far as competition goes. You'd probably have to start doing like just news updates and stuff on the game. And I think that's where right now is your best bet with Tarkov, but regular gameplay stuff, I think that's kind of over with for new creators underneath the game. Or tutorial videos or show. A lot of people are looking for ways to be able to play the game and still have fun without running out of money. And if you could find those ways and showcase those, then then you can get decent content off that. Yeah, you do have some some people that love playing SPT, and then you got a lot of haters as as well on there. I think majority of haters though. Yes, yeah, for sure. Definitely, definitely hard to grow as a regular creator. I mean, you could do it if you can focus on the right categories, you know? But I think just putting gameplay videos or cinematic videos, you, you can only get so far. People want to watch it and then hold some kind of value to it, something that they can use while playing, you know what I mean? So you have to kind of create that for other, other people and then come up with new ways to keep that going and it's going to be difficult than just showcasing other games I mean you can still do other games as well it's like right now I'm covering Dead Side if I were to cover Tarkov it's just time consuming for live Tarkov for me or else I would I've been playing it since beta and I I haven't really got too far because having a work life on top of that it's really hard to grind and uh, the wipes used to come too frequently now they're a little bit spaced apart it might be better to do it now but i feel like it is kind of too late at the same time the game is fun though probably one of the best shooter customiz customizable tasks style gameplay out there you can find you got the, the bullet penetration and all that different stuff. All the different armor values.
Now they got the new armor plates you can put in. But for PvE, there's a lot of PvE players out there too, and, and, and instead of battling that constant grind and then getting ran over when they get in a raid if they're not that good, coming from a specific skill gap, they can jump into SPT, and, and SPT is there for those, those players, so they can mod the game to their liking and still enjoy the game itself they can do it either way go from zero to hero or they could just spawn in a bunch of loot and just go in and annihilate everything you know but live tarkov is it's just more focused pvp driven than pve right now and i think that's all spt does is just split those two apart I do miss it though. I like I like the the choppers and the modification. It's definitely different for uh even if you were to go PVE, it's still a badass game for that for a tactical shooter and a a looter shooter style extraction game. Priced even CT. I'm supposed to talk to somebody, I forget who it was. Oh, so she's over here. Which one of you are... channel I, I pretty much started covering survival games on it at first and then i started doing tactical shooters on there and then dead side got into the mix so now i'm just doing that and i, I kind of throw in some survivor stuff there and there too as well Let's do this. Yeah, I play the game. I haven't been... I'm kind of waiting on the new updates right now. Um, as far as Deadside goes. I do play on my own server, though. I want to build a like a team deathmatch server for uh, dead side just for team deathmatch i think that'll be fun Daisy's good for cinematic, cinematic uh, content. You can do a lot of stuff with it. There's always a new trending map on Daisy. A new map you got to try.
that's a great idea for people like me that want to learn the gun mechanics properly. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm thinking about doing some videos later on once once they get a little bit more in depth with it. Right now, the way Deadside is, it's not too too many style gun mechanics. They do have some armor differences, so the armor is completely. Um, it, it's worthwhile wearing the the low tier armor now in Deadside, like the police vests. The other day I was just on the public test server and I was fighting somebody with some, some pretty tanky armor and uh, it took a lot of shots. A lot more than the, the previous to live version of the game, which is pretty cool. I think that's going to change it up differently. Going to make armor more use useful now. And I think that's the way Dead Side's going. Is they're, they're trying to fine tune everything in between to a certain degree. I don't think it's ever going to be like... Tarkov or Daisy weapon customization, they still want to keep it that arcade feel, I think, for the most part. And make it so where you can get into quick engagements. What kind of games have you been playing lately, TK? I've oh, got to pop another heal. These guys are all level 23 over here, so they do a little bit more damage. survival ascended you know i thought about getting into that especially the new one it looks good but i i kind of have a thing where it's gonna from my perspective it's gonna do a lot of things but if there was a game that i can do that i did have time for i would definitely jump into it There's NPCs all around. Yeah, I think the prone animation would be good, and it looks like they're they're progressing updates a little bit frequent now. I think the game when when it came out in early access didn't really have that that much of um any content to help promote the game so a lot of people were unaware of it and then that slows down development too and there's definitely so many things out there that can hinder a game's development or the speed of it anyway All right, let's see if I could get in here and Oh, what's the... Talk to the little robot. Closing crisis mode. Commencing social mode. <sighs> Thank you so much for saving me. Uh, I didn't think anything in this world could still surprise me. But there are robots now, and they're so emotional. User confusion. This please hold while I apply for level one information permission. Application approved! I am from the survivor stronghold of Greywater, located.
located at 30 degrees 54, 25.2 north, 71 degrees 05, 47.5 west. You are welcome to visit. For your benefactors, please grant me authorization to upload video footage of your battle to the Grey Water servers. I believe it should provide valuable evidence of your heroism for his honor, the acting mayor, Hot Dog, and his staff. Um, sure. Knock yourself out. Authorization obtained. Uploading recorded data. Frog reminder, high reminder. Go, 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 go! What the hell is that thing? So I came all the way out here for that. Yeah, I, I could see that, TK, to make the, everybody's player experience a little bit better, for sure. A well-polished game is always, always good. And it seems like a lot of, like, um, Nightingale just came out, and they had a... I think it could have been... I think they're just releasing the games too early, to be honest. A lot of the indie developers or small studios are just releasing the games too early. But then again, marketing and all that stuff has to get involved, so it's like to keep the studio together. It all has to be really well founded and developed for a good game to come across. Gray Zone looks sick. That's surprising to me, like how a game like that just comes out of nowhere. So far, this game's pretty grindy. I'm curious what, I, what it's going to bring later on in the worlds. If, if there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to change. There's a little robot that ran into that building. What is that? There he goes. He's got a pickaxe. I wonder if he's like somebody's farmer. This is somebody's base here. So I think maybe you can make these guys to go farm materials, maybe? They got the doors open over here. Yeah, I definitely wait till the live version of the game comes out. That's why it's not you're not grinding and wiping. That's one thing that's a disadvantage of playing now. There's going to be a wipe. Oh, maybe that's what these are. Let's see, go to the gray water using the location given by H37. The realm of nightmares. I like the, the map of gray zone. I like the, the villages, the look they gave to the game. Red zone uh, or red river or whatever the game. There's another tactical shooter that came out that looks like it has the same some of the same familiar buildings that Grey Zone has. For an MMO style game though, this this definitely gives me a vibe from like a lot of the other games all all mixed into one. And then the, the size of the map in Gray Zone too, as well. That it's going to be pretty immersive. I'm sure there's going to be enemies all over the place. Your life is going to flash before your eyes anywhere you go on the map. Let's see, how do I get over there? Only 103 meters away.
Now, didn't, didn't Grey Zone have some kind of uh, a release date that was not sure, but it was possibly a thing? Can't get up there. Remember. My brain it feels like it's made out of mud. I'm gonna try a nap later. Uh, tied up with ropes and locked in a cell. Uh, only the whole boy could come up with a solution like that. It's better than the alternative. I'm telling you. I can't take this much longer. End of the month, huh? That'll be good. We all saw the video. Hey, nice work saving H37. By the way, I'm guessing they did fix the uh, <clears throat> some of the stuff with the dynamic sound effects around the map. Like, it's just one of those things when you get into a specific zone, you you hear like birds singing in the trees, but there's really no birds there, and it's just like a a generated audio that that cues in every time you you're in a particular area. But I, I think they did they did revamp that a little bit. They ran into some issues a few years back, but there's been a boom in market demand since. Are you in charge of this settlement? That's right. Why do they? Because I like hot dogs. Oh, I. <laughs> Is this even alcohol? Here, the best with like uh, something could be. Not that we tried it. Hmm, that's just what I was so like. To investigate the old hospital now i do got to get some more resources because the level system that i'm in right now i'm pretty much under under tier for this zone I think it's going to be good. It's definitely got the backing it needs, so they're, they're more than likely going to be some scenarios, but... Oh, these guys are level 21. it telling me to go all the way around well it's got to be up here I think it'll be good overall. I'm, I'm curious how the PvP is going to work, like what's going to be the, the bugs and everybody's going to be dealing with. As far as like synchronizing everybody's network together, desync and whatnot. Because I think that's where one of the main things everybody is looking for right now is the PvP. ready for this mission. Got in there. 
175 rounds left. We'll just see if I can make it happen, huh? TK, thanks for coming in, bud. Oh, you can jump out of windows. That was good. You know, I have the original Ark Survival in, uh, down or uh, on my library, but I gotta get the, the Ascended. Definitely looks like a good game, though. So there's a juggernaut in there. I've got to go in here. I wonder if I could just get the mission and get in and get out. Completely oblivious. Oh, these guys know. Yeah, definitely gonna have to level up my character for this area. I guess I don't have any more ammo. Looks like we're going the old school way. Sounds like something big is out here.
It looks like it's whatever I need is over there. It's funny because once you get in this animation, you can't run at all. All right, that looks like all of them. All right, the parking garage. Spiders everywhere. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's it's kind of got its similarities in between a lot of games. The Last of Us Division. There's some, like, new world farming. By the way, what, uh, welcome in, uh, Sweeler. Currently, I'm, like, at a low level right now. My character is... Level 17 in a 23 zone. I'm definitely not ready for this one. I'm dead. I don't have no ammo. Can't heal until 15, until the cooldown goes at least. Ah, oh, no. You have to go through the uh, through the regular launcher to be able to access it. If you if you uh, Google it, you can find the Once Human website, and it'll. You can apply for a uh, beta test on PC. And from there, it'll allow you to download the launcher right off the bat. Oh, 
Okay, perfect. If it still works, it should. Could be this. Should be a good link anyway. Yeah, you'll get access to the launcher and then you'll have to verify it through your email address and then they'll set you up. There ain't no way I'm gonna kill this spider. I wonder if there's a way I could actually exit this realm. I don't think I can now. Possibly get some more ammo and come back. Is that all you've got? Looks like the headshots are a little bit better. Which way are you going, buddy? Oh, it's trying to wrap me up, and I'm stuck on the pillar, thank God. Oh, it's still going to spawn me here. I wonder if I restart, I'll be in the same... Oh, leap dungeon. Here we go. Definitely gotta get some more ammo before I come in there and fight him. Oh, nice. Perfect. It's definitely fun. For an open world MMO. It won't take you long to get the uh, SMGs and everything once you get your base built. And one thing I like is once I find a zone, you can move your base from I have my base all the way. Let's see, way down here. So if I want to move it anywhere on the map, I can, no matter how complex it is, how big it is. As long as you got a big enough area to place it, you can you can place it over there. Looks like they gotta fix some of this stuff here.
Oh, this is the stuff I gotta find here. What is this? Iron ore. This is it. It is further north. Requires a more advanced gathering tool, so I've got to advance my gathering tools. Yeah, beta, definitely early beta. You're going to find a lot of uh, glitches in it. But overall, for a free-to-play game, being in beta in the state that it is right now is amazing. Then you get a skill tree. So like, if I were to go to your cradle, then you go to memetics. And this is where you can unlock all your different skills at too as well. So I think for me, I'm gonna need crafting like a bigger pickaxe. So I think these are the next steps right here. Intermediate tools. But you can get better ammunition. Even uh, vehicles, four wheel vehicles in here too as well. You got like a Jeep, a car, and um, just your basic essentials here to build one. Yeah, Cyberpunk was definitely a, a glitchy mess, especially for a AAA style, style game. Let's see if I can relocate my base. Yeah, it's going to be one of those games for sure. I'm definitely going to put a lot of time into it. PvP. PvP servers and PvE servers. if I could put my base right here. Move territory. There we go. It almost did place it. Yes. Put it right there. There's no cost. Maybe later on there'll be a cost for it. Looks like I'm going to need a little bit of a stair set. Maybe not. Maybe I could just jump in. Bronze Ignat. This is what I need. Bronze Ignat Craft and Furnace. I think I do have some. Similar to Power World building. Yeah, there's a lot of different things you could do. I mean, it's pretty... You could unlock more stuff, though, like more different sets of stairs, but they got all different variations. Different roofs, different peaks, pitches, angles. I thought I had some in here. I guess not. 
Oh, well, I should be able to make some through here, right? Yes, bronze ignot, 35. Facilities. So I need 20 of these, so I'm, I should have plenty of enough to build it up. I think once I get this, I can craft a better pickaxe and I can farm the iron that I need. And then I could be able to get this stuff with it. At least this one here. Get the weapons workbench. The ambience definitely gets more intense when you get further north. Somebody's got their base down there. Another one down there. I th think to a certain degree, I think you can unlock the PvP because online I have seen players break into somebody's house and then destroy their loot crates with uh, Molotovs. And there they're able to like get your loot. But I think that's only if you, you're like activated or a particular zone only possibly. Or maybe when you pass a specific level, I think PvP is active. I forget exactly how it works. Nice. I'll place you right here for now. Oh wait, is this the same bench? I think I just made the same bench, didn't I? No, oh, that looks different. Steel pickaxe, yes. Yeah, I think when it goes live, when this uh, demo is done with and the live version comes out, I'm definitely gonna get into PvP. That's probably all the servers are going to play. Perfect. You'll definitely have fun with it. Requires an advanced more gathering tool. Maybe... Which one did I craft? Get rid of that. And... Equip this one. Do I got two of these? I think I do. No, I don't. There we go. Now, just so you know, the, uh, you're going to be started as a guest until you get past the tutorial. But once you get into the open world, then you could create a username, a gamer tag, and your own authentication. It'll give you like a two-step authentication type thing or verification. And then you'll have to be in the same world as your, as the players are. And so if you were to join a buddy, he'd have to join the same world that you're in or the same server anyway. 
I think it's like Starlight G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you just keep track of the letters. But once you do that, then you have certain worlds, worlds you're in once you're in that, like, right now I'm currently in Starlight G, the PVE server, and then you get to get into World 5. One through nine, I think it is, within that one server. So it could be raining and storming in World 2 and completely sunny in World 5, but you're in the same server, technically. Alright, let's go farm. I think there was some stuff over here I can grab. above my pay grade sitting over here in the uh, level 23 zone and I'm only level 15 I think once I get the better weapons though you can tear up quicker so once you get active to the best resources there's a speed run method I'm sure Definitely need some tid. Currently I'm out of ammo, so I'll need some more copper to get some ammo. Resupplies. And that's kind of good because I got the spider boss literally right over there. So I think this is a perfect area to stay in. Even though it's what, like seven, eight different levels above my class right now? It's gonna kill me quick.
Looks like I gotta repair my gear and all everything, so. I'm guessing that's what those little yellow bars are for on the bottom there.
All right, that'll have to work for now. And then the plan. Try to segregate everything here. Start ramping up production a little bit. Hey, what's up, Amajad? Yeah, definitely. The game is um, doing pretty good so far. As far as... You know, the, the entire open world, the, the combat system, the grind, the game loop, it's all... Seems like it's all coming together here. So far, I'm trying to build up my base a little bit and get some ammo because I drained my character of, of supplies and went to fight uh, one of the bosses on the map and realized I'm shorthanded, so I've got to come back and build some stuff up in order to finish him off. That's the plan anyway, but so far the game's pretty good. Definitely enjoying it. For a free-to-play game, it's, it's definitely a little bit grindy, but not to the certain extent where it's gonna kill all your time. I guess I could probably put one of these up here out of the way. There we are. Let's get rid of that. Whoops. All right. I guess that'll do. Definitely got to level, work on leveling up my character a little bit, but I think I should have enough ammo here. So what do I need? Steel Ignat and Vendium Crystal. Refined parts. So I think the crystal I'm going to have to go find in the world. I can probably gather up some more resources now that I've... got some stuff accumulated anyway. Close. There we go. Oh, sounds like there's some gunfire here. Oh, let's go help this agent down down here. He's, uh... Like he's in trouble.
Yeah, as far as the fun aspect goes, you definitely have a lot of it in this game for sure. There's just so many different things you can encounter. Even the farming and the the grinding part is somewhat enjoy have you you do have some enjoyment in that as well. One aspect that I like, it doesn't take too much of it. Hours and hours of grinding to be able to get anywhere. As you can see on the left, I'm actually gathering quite a bit of resources just from this one rock. I've got to change that design up somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Bavarian crystal. Where do I get that at? I'm thinking that might might be near like a cave or something, or maybe near this mining. I gotta see if I can repair my armor real quick. I think my armor's definitely took a hit. Bronze pickaxe. Steel pickaxe. So this one should be the better one, right? Steel. Steel versus bronze. All right, here we are. Repair. Insufficient materials. I need copper. Copper should be good. Should be good. Which one was it? The armor repair station here. Repair. And let's do this. Do the machete. Alright, so that's all our weapons. Gloves. What am I lacking here? shabby fabric and I definitely need to upgrade my armor I've got to work on tearing everything up in my character here but for now this has been working I mean all the way this far I can defeat the spider as long as I got ammo enough of it but I do need Vivarian crystal
don't think it's going to be in here. <coughs> Right, I'm back. Oh, maybe this is it? Star Trace Ore. This is new. Bavarian crystal. I'm thinking that's going to be later, later game further in the map, possibly further than this area. Because I haven't came across one unless there's like particular zones you can find Valerian ore at. Or Van Diem crystal, I mean. There we are. All right. Somebody got a big base up here. Oh, he must have expanded his territory to be able to get this far out.
Let's see, let's go check out this area here. Maybe I could find some up here. Okay, I am pushing further north. Oh, I see. I think you could only get these from a storage box. Hmm. I might have some. I don't know. That'd be good to know. Oof, that was close. Can we jump out through here? No, that's too small.
I thought I seen something in here that I needed. But that's right, there's a rift over here. them things do some damage. You were killed. So I lost fireproof plastic. Only one of those. That's not too bad, I guess. I feel like I'm definitely going to be utilizing a lot of ammo until I can level up my weapons in my skill tree. At least being in this particular zone in a way. We'll do copper ignite. Let's do some charcoal. And then see if I can craft any weapons or uh, ammunition. So maybe... Blazing2720, thanks for the sub, bud. Much appreciated, my man. 
Uh, let's see, maybe... Alright, I've got to... Somehow, be able to get more guns. Here we are. This is it. Let's see, ammunition 2. I think these are going to apply more damage, so it's only it only takes 5 to upgrade these. This is probably going to be my next step. Now that I got the pickaxe and everything else. The workbench. Let's see, scout drones. Ammunition 1. A real lifesaver in the wilderness. Hmm. Light machine guns. And seven spec left. I should probably try to get vehicle modding in progress. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty good change. Oh, there we are. That's what I want. Nice. Gonna have to test this baby out. I think we should be able to get our snipers too. What do I need? What am I missing? Okay, I just got bronze ignot. That should be good enough. Upstairs. I think this will be a good addition. Oh, yes. So we've got the snipers and the LMG class. We're definitely gonna have to get some mods for these two as well. Sixty round M two four nine. Perfect. I like it. I think I got the ability to craft better ammunition, I believe. Damage per shot plus four percent only. I wonder what else it takes. Stardust. Oh, so you have to use a little bit of Stardust with it.
Oh, it doesn't look like I can farm any of those. I gotta get some charcoal though. It's gotta be a new boss in there. Yeah, the tier 2 has way more damage. Nice. Guys, we're going to go ahead and end it here for the live stream. I'm going to continue on farming for the next live stream, so we'll have some uh, gear ready to go, and then I'll, go I'll keep you guys updated on all the gear that I've acquired throughout the time. But thank you, everybody, for coming in, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys. Peace out, everybody. I wish I wish I had some ammo. I would just light it up in the sky right now. But I do got some AK rounds. There it is.